El Paso's Aaron Jones is the hottest running back in the league right now. Jones has been dancing in the end zone in five straight games, which is tied for the longest touchdown streak in the NFL this season. You know he's doing good on the field. I'm here to tell you he's doing good off the field as well. And it's not just him, it's his twin brother and Baltimore Ravens linebacker Alvin Jones as well. Their father, Alvin Sr., donated over 20 bicycles to boys and girls at East Point Elementary School on the Jones brothers' behalf. This is the second year Aaron has done this, and it also goes back to supporting the community they grew up in. It's truly a blessing the position that my brother and I are in to be able to give back to the community we love so much and to the less fortunate um, all the reactions that I'm hearing from my dad um, are so positive and I wish me and my brother could be there. It's just amazing to be able to give back to these kids. You know, some people aren't um, as blessed as we are, as others are, and it feels great to be able to give back and make these kids Christmas. Hashtag El Paso Proud. For the full story, go to ElPasoProud.com. Aaron Jones might be the hottest running back in the league right now, but the Dallas Cowboys are the hottest team. The Cowboys won five in a row and have taken a commanding lead in the NFC East. It's a two-game lead with three to play, and they, of course, own the tiebreaker over the Eagles. Dak and the boys back on the practice field this morning as they get ready for the Indianapolis Colts. A win this week and a little bit of help could mean the Cowboys clinch this division here in Week 15. Our Silver Star Nation insider Mickey Spagnola says it would do this team a world of good to wrap this thing up early. So I think this is an important game to keep this winning streak going, go on the road and beat a good team like the Colts and continue that confidence growing that's been growing for the past five weeks. 11 a.m. kickoff from Lucas Oil Stadium on Sunday. Cowboys will look to make it six in a row. Chapin Volleyball had themselves a record-setting year in 2018, 31 wins and a perfect district record, and a big reason why was the play of senior Amber Soto, who's going to the next level. Soto signed her national letter of intent today to play college volleyball at the Division I level. The record-setting setter signing on to play at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. It's a program that Soto says she's had her eye on for quite some time now, and today she made that dream into reality. It's a great accomplishment and it's an amazing opportunity. I, I never thought that I'd be able to play, to play college volleyball and it's just great to be able to say that I'm going to play for Air Force as well. Soto was a two-time All-District selection and was first team All-State this past season for Chapin, leading the Huskies to a district and by district championship. That's all for sports tonight. KTSM 9 News, David Guest signing off.